There's over 250 different breeds of beef cattle in the world, and they come in all sizes and shapes and colors, all the way from Red Angus to the fluffy belted Galloways. Now here at Running W Farm in Kent County, farmer Jim Lindauer has chosen to work with these, these incredible Highland cattle. Of all the hundreds of breeds he could have chosen, these are the ones that made the most sense for his operation. Today's an exciting day for the cattle at Running W Farm. Farmer Jim Lindauer is giving them a special seasonal treat, pumpkins. And the cattle don't need to feel guilty for indulging because this squash also comes with health benefits. In the fall here, we have an opportunity to feed some pumpkins to our cattle. It's certainly a treat to them, but also it is a natural dewormer and uh, it's helpful for the cattle to shed some of their internal parasites and things. Although the herd can feast on pumpkins today, Jim raises this breed primarily because of its ability to thrive on grass. Their genetics and their selective breeding within the Scottish Isles led to an animal that forages very well on grass. They'll eat not only the best grasses in the field, they'll eat the other weeds and things also. We can actually fatten cattle and have great beef even in the winter on just grass and hay. Of course, it's not just the foraging skills that makes this breed stand out. Their unique look also sets them apart. Highland cattle all have horns. Both the males and the females have horns. They all have long coats, depending on the climate. The farther north they go, the shaggy they'll get. The inner coat is warmth, and then the outer coat sheds off the snow and the rain. And with all that hair, I couldn't resist the chance to pet one. Kim, who is this pretty little heifer here? This is Poppy. She was born on Father's Day last year, so she's almost a year and a half. Mm -hmm. She really likes to be brushed. You want to try? Yeah, I'd love to, because I'm, I'm looking at this, this hair on her. I would think it would be really coarse, but it's not. It's almost like baby hair. Mm -hmm. Very fine. And I bet she just loves that back scratch like that. She does. A warm coat also means highlands don't need to put on much fat for those long Scottish winters. This makes their meat leaner than that of other cattle. Here we're looking at a London bro. Uh, you can see it's a cut of top round. It has some fat, but not excessive. So there's not a lot of waste. So it's a, a great meal can be done in many different ways. Despite the lack of fat, the beef isn't tough thanks in part to the breed's disposition. They're just hanging out there more like couch potatoes rather than athletes. So that's what another thing that helps keep their muscles tender. Jim sells his Highland beef on the farm and at the Chestertown Farmer's Market. He also supplies meat to the Happy Chicken, a local bakery, cafe, and caterer. Chef Zach Ledoux says the beef is a big hit with his customers. We get phone calls and emails about the quality of our product and specifically the beef. And then people come and we have a line sometimes on the weekend at our farmer's market just to get the brisket breakfast sandwich. If you'd like to try to cook up something using Highland beef, we got some great ideas that came to us from the Happy Chicken Bakery. Chef Zach put together these sandwiches and they're really delicious. He's got a breakfast sandwich, he's got a classic French dip, and then a roast beef sandwich with all the trimmings. If you'd like to try these at home, we're gonna put the recipes on our website at mpt.org farm. Give it a try. For the local buy, I'm Al Spoler. Joanne? Thanks, Al. Be sure to check out mpt.org slash farm for all our local buy recipes. And you can watch full episodes there as well. Also, don't forget to follow us on social media for show updates and a look behind the scenes.